Hello, I'm Dr. Jeffrey Whitman. Welcome to Key Whitman Eye Center. Joining me today are our dry eye specialists, Dr. Agnew and Dr. Colrick. Patients of all age groups can have dry eye syndrome. Contact lens wearers will have some degree of dry eye. Environmental factors and activities of daily living, such as reading, computers, cell phone use, often notice problems with dry eye. Many medical conditions such as Sjogren's syndrome, lupus, rheumatoid arthritis, and menopause may cause severe dry eye symptoms. In addition, many different medications such as antihistamines will also lead to dry eye problems. To begin a dry evaluation, we need to know more about your symptoms. We'll give you a simple questionnaire that helps us understand the frequency and severity of your symptoms. A thorough eye exam will be performed and your Key Whitman doctor will examine the tear film layer covering your eye. You will perform an external examination of the eyelids and the mobobian glands at the base of your lashes. Additional tests may be performed to measure the quality and the amount of tear film production. In order to understand the impact of our tear film has on clarity and comfort of our eye, let's briefly review what makes up our tear film. Your tear film is made up of three layers and they have to be in perfect balance, otherwise you will notice symptoms. The first layer is a mucus layer and it sits right next to the cornea or the outer covering of the pupil and the iris. The water layer is in, sandwiched in between this mucus layer and an oily layer that is responsible for preventing this watery layer from evaporating too quickly. When you don't produce enough of the water layer, we first recommend the regular use of artificial tears. If you seem to have more trouble in the morning, we may recommend use a more viscous drop or a lubricating ointment at night. These may blur your vision, so that is why it is best to use an ointment right before you go to bed at night. Additionally, we may recommend you begin using vitamins and supplements especially developed to improve your tear production, but these may take several weeks to even months to get really good improvement. Punctal plugs may also be inserted in the drainage tear ducts, which are like tiny stoppers made of silicone or collagen that help keep the moisture from draining too quickly from the eye. Prescription medications like Restasis may also be used to reduce inflammation and improve tear film production. The oil layer, which is produced each time you blink, sometimes is reduced because of the meibomian glands along the edge of your eyelids can get blocked, not allowing this oily substance to flow freely. This contributes to the evaporation of the water layer of your tear film. After determining if you have a lipid deficiency by using a special diagnostic test called LipaView, we now have an FDA approved procedure called LipaFlow which treats meibomian gland dysfunction by using heat and gentle pressure to express the blocked glands. Patients who've undergone this therapeutic treatment at Key Whitman have been very satisfied with the results and we anticipate that this will be another solution for dry eyes. Depending on the severity of the condition, this treatment can potentially last from nine months to as much as three years. We hope this information helps you understand more about your dry eyes and brings you hope for both treatment and eye comfort.